What about Brother Anthony? Uh, okay. You know what I was thinking? I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm really a, a systems kind of guy. You know, patterns. I like to look at patterns and see how things work or whatever have you. And systems, I really like. You know, a system works within a system, works within another system, which has an outer system. You know, systems are just all over the place. They don't sort of bump into each other. They sort of work in harmony with each other. Systems do, you know. Now, then when I think about it, let me tell you something else you might not know. I read this big book once called uh, The Coming Plague by Lori Garrett. Uh, she's a journalist and, and she, writes, she writes, she's like a scientific kind of journalist, you know. And it's a big, thick book about this thick, and the references about like, ooh, a lot, <laughs> more than half, well, I'm exaggerating, but it's a lot of references in that book, so you can check out everything that she says. But the premise of the book was how the human beings do everything to destroy themselves. Now, by destroying themselves or that system, they're also destroying things around them, but we won't talk about that right now. To give you an example, what the book was given for instance, say for something like the coming, the, 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 the bubonic plague, right? Now, the bubonic plague, now what they, what, what may not, people may not understand about at least this, what the book says, is even before the, 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 the fleas that were on the rats came, you know, to you know, spread the bubonic plague, the citizenry of uh, England in that area, they had went on this killing cat spree. You know, they just kill cats. As you know, a cat, if you want to get rid of a mouse or a rat or rodent, something like that, you have a cat around, they spread their little scent around, and you know, cats say, rats say, oh, no, I don't want to hang out with that, and then they run away. So there was no, there wasn't a whole lot of cats. There was a lot of rats. And the rats, and then now at the same time, they had getting cut down a lot of their trees, or most of their trees, there was no forest. So they had to burn stuff or whatever, but in the wintertime they'd get, they'd get cold. So they hug up with their animals, you know, the horses and the piggies and stuff like that, and keep warm. But remember the freeze, fleas and food now having a holiday because, you know, they're running around with the rats and, the, and, and then they get on the other animals. And so now you're sleeping with the animal for warmth and you're getting the fleas because the fleas want warmth too. The fleas want warmth from you. I mean, they're giving you something for the warmth. The plague. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, I'm just trying to say that what happens, that what the book is trying to point out, because it reads like a murder mystery, because there's a lot of other stuff that the human beings do, you know, that it points out, you know, but they always help the, the thing that's killing them to do it more effectively, let's put it that way. So, what the, what the book points out is basically if you keep on going like this, if you don't start thinking, you know, if you let people, well, let's put, Greed, that's what it really was about. Human beings just trying to be greedy, taking everything. So if you don't check the people that's trying to be more greedy than everybody else, well, you're going to be succumbed to that that stuff, that greed. That, uh, you know, I, I'm not listening to nobody. I'm not. And that's what the human beings do. They keep on taking, 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 digging, messing up waterways. The fish populations don't go down. The land population going down. And you think you get rid of species of animals this quick that you're going to survive? No, you're not going to survive. Animals gone, you gone. Food gone. Water polluted. Mm -hmm. It's a sad situation we have in the world today. Now, okay, I might be a little over dramatic with this because I am a you know audio dramatist, but I don't know. I don't think so. Not this time. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, this is this is one of those dispatches from the Arts Director of America. That would be me, T, from the Patterson State of the Transit, but letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.